Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Celeste Angelica if you're new here and for today's video It's gonna be a good one. So I recently just went to Europe I was in Amsterdam Paris and London and I managed to scoop up some foods from there and then the following week my mom went to Poland and so she got me some real Polish candy if you guys have seen my trying Polish candy video You would know what I'm you would know why me trying authentic Polish candy is extremely important <laughs> I didn't realize that people were so serious about candy or took it so seriously but all that being said it was still a really fun video to film and it's actually the video that I've created with the most views it's about 50 50 people love it people hate it <laughs> that's the internet for you but anyways I really just wanted to try some European candy and I was there so I figured why not let's jump on this occasion now if I get the names wrong if I pronounce them wrong if I say they're from one country but they weren't actually manufactured there I apologize in advance again not here to offend anyone just having fun trying out some candies and let's just get into it <laughs> per usual I got my spit bag which a few people had an issue with thought it was a little dramatic no so the first thing is from Holland this is chocolate it says Hazelnut, so hazelnut sounds like it'll be really good. One thing I've noticed about candies from Europe a lot of their chocolates involve hazelnut, which I'm not mad about. Okay, so they're just in a bunch of little squares. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, this is actually so good. Oh my god. God, we have so much to get through. These are from Poland. These are cherries and chocolate. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm going to love these just because I don't really like chocolate covered cherries from here, so I probably won't like it from elsewhere either. Nope. 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 Not my thing. So my mom was on the Swiss Airlines and so she gave me this Swiss chocolate. It says finest Swiss milk chocolate. So it better have been made in Switzerland because come on. To be honest with you, it kind of tastes like nothing at all. Like there's really not any kind of flavor going on. Mm. Yep. <laughs> these are Maynard's wine gum. I got these in London. Perfect. Nope. They were uh, they were made in uh, Ontario. So, oh Canada. Well, got them in London. Oh, I did go to Canada though. So. Should I just cut this out and pretend I knew it was from Canada? Oh my. I am not even being dramatic. These smell terrible. <laughs> like, absolutely terrible. Oh, it smells like paint sealer. So let's try them. Do the red one. Oh my god, it actually hurts my jaw. Oh no. That might just be the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Ah! It tastes like the worst cherry cough syrup you were ever forced to have as a child. Extremely hard, they're like rock hard. Purple. Oh my God, that's even worse. I, um, I don't think I wanna try these last three. To yellow. Oh, 
That's cool, I'll just casually choke to death on these awful wine gums while filming a video. That'll be my legacy. Good, good. Yes, I'm gonna have to give these wine gums a hard zero. So I thought, these will be great. I've heard good things. Let me get the biggest bag they have. These are artisanal Belgian chocolates. They are blueberries covered in Belgian dark chocolate. Now I'm like, feel like I have to smell everything. Oh wow, those are good. Yeah, these are good. Favorite thing yet. So. so I have all of these little individual chocolates from Poland. Let's just try the coconut and then we'll move on. This one's white. I'm not losing my mind, I swear to God. There was a bug on there. Where did it go? Well, after that I'm gonna need some liquid courage to continue this video. So good thing I have some dry gin that we purchased in Amsterdam, right? Amsterdam? London? London called the botanist the thing is I don't like gin in America like at all can't stand it I personally think it's the work of Satan but we're gonna give it a go 46% alcohol great oh, oh cool this is from Scotland so I bought it in London it was manufactured in the distillery in Scotland. So, here we go. I cannot stand the taste. It tastes like straight up pine trees. Smoothness, great, like 10 out of 10. Definitely. Flavor, hard pass. You guys, I seriously feel like I keep seeing the bug. Maybe I should take one more. I just feel warm already, you know? In a world that's so cold. Gin from Scotland is by my side. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. How many frickin' more? I can feel the cavities already. What? I'm just cleansing the palate. Yeah, I know I said I don't like the gin. It's... Mm. And I meant it, I really don't like the gin. What am I doing to myself? We have the Wittered All Butter Chelsea Bun Biscuits, inspired by the iconic British bun, a rich and fruity biscuit with a cinnamon kick. Can I be honest with you guys? Do I actually think these sound that good? No. Did I buy them specifically so I could keep the tin can after? Yeah. Do these cookies look a little bit old? Yeah. Okay. They actually smell real good. This is the best biscuit I've ever eaten. Aww. Raisins, I don't like raisin cookies. Mm, yep. Definitely says it on the label. We only have a couple things left. I know, this video is dragging, trust me. You have the opportunity to click out of this video if you hate this. I still have to continue. <laughs> okay, so these I'm really excited about. If you watch Amelia Liana, you will have definitely heard about these at least once. Yep, so they're just little chocolate coins. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got these in Paris. These are Vichy 
menthe. So they're like just little mints, I think, is what I'm under the impression of. Am I speaking English anymore? I really like the bag, the packaging, and they smell really good. They just smell like fresh mints. I knew these would be good. It says the first ingredient is sucre, so I know that means sugar, so great. To cavities. <laughs> We're on the home stretch, okay? Bear with me. I got these also in Paris. These just look like olive and some sort of herb. They smell so good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And lastly, finally, these are from Amsterdam. These are old timers. Or the brand is Old Timers. Oh, there's no English. <laughs> I did not pick these out. Our family friends that live in Amsterdam, who are from Amsterdam, gifted these to us. So, honestly, I don't have a single clue as to what these are. I guess we'll just give it a go. Oh, they smell kind of like toffee, but I'm gonna tell you the honest truth right now. They look like stale, organic dog treats. Rabbit food. Do these not look like rabbit food? I mean, really? I don't want to. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. What is in this? <sighs> I'm so sorry if this is one of your favorite candies, but what is this? <laughs> These are not good, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Not good. I like wanna take a real bite to see, but I hate it so much. Chasers at the ready. I hate it so much. Alrighty, so we are finally at the end of this taste testing video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a big thumbs up. I really hope I didn't offend anyone. It was not about countries or offending anyone. If it's your favorite candy and I didn't like it, that's totally fine. We're all entitled to our own opinions. I might have loved one that you hate, and that's okay too. So, don't take it too seriously. I hope you guys found this fun, and it encouraged you to kind of get out there and try different things, because there are so many different things in the world. It is so important to be cultured and try different things, even if it's not something you would typically choose, and it's a lot of fun, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. So since you guys made it to the very end of the video, I'm going to be doing a small giveaway for you guys. So Pixie was kind enough to send me a few products of theirs. They send me PR packages that I'm very, very grateful for, and I thought it would be a great idea to share some with you because they've been coming out with a lot of great products this summer. So I'm going to be giving to one person the gel tint and silk gloss. This is basically just a lip tint, kind of like a lip stain, but not as intense, and a lip gloss in one. It's a very, very pretty color for summer. This one is in the shade Beach Tint and Fresh Gloss. Along with that, I will be including their new Sheer Cheek Gel. This is in the shade Flushed. Perfect for summer nights. It's not too intense because it's a gel. You only need a little bit and you can blend it in seamlessly and then you can build it up. So don't worry about it being such a dark color and getting too much. You can just build it up and work from there. So that is everything that I'm doing for this giveaway. The rules are very simple. You must be subscribed to my channel, the one that you're watching right now. And all you have to do is comment on this video saying what type of summer video you'd like to see from me. This giveaway ends at 12 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, July 15th. I will be DMing the winner on Instagram, so look for my DM there if you won. I will also comment on your comment 
in this video letting you know that you won. Stay subscribed because there will be more giveaways in the future. I think I'm gonna start doing small giveaways like this more often just because it's really fun to give back to those of you who support my channel. And I believe that that is everything, so I'm gonna finally get going here. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.